everyone, Lau here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the first video that's not included in Vlogmas. Although it still has a little bit of a Christmassy theme. Um, generally, if you're new here, hi, I'm Lau. I'm doing lots of vintage toy um, content. Sometimes I'm also doing like cosplay content. So I'm a geek in general. Disney, My Little Pony, Star Wars, all that fun stuff but today I want to show you my what I got for a Christmas haul. It consists mainly of vintage toys. <laughs> um, the thing is I didn't have like a big wish this year. It's not, not, not that I that I needed something like a new mobile phone or, or stuff like that. You know that these are things that, that people often like wish for Christmas and also like we try to not like do like huge big presents like it's it's like that by my pre my parents for example say okay you can you can think of something for around 50 euros for example stuff like that and like this year I was really like I can't think of anything else than like vintage toys and obviously and they didn't get them and I bought them actually myself because when I like started to buy things that I would like to have like vintage toy things and then obviously it in the end got a little bit more expensive than what my parents like gave the money to me so I would say half of the stuff is like maybe more like uh, gifted to myself yeah let's just start with um, something that is a toy line that I really like I really want to collect all of the stuff it's the cutest things ever apart from my little pony so it is Lady Lovely Locks and this is the Silky Pop from the Lady Lovely Locks toy line it's like her dog and I'm like I don't know I have this on my like watch list on 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 the different uh, like eBay, eBay client and sign all those like for kind of a long time they're not hard to find they're always online um, it's just one, it's just this pink dog, there are not multiple dogs or something like we have like multiple um, Lady Lovely Dogs kitties for example, so it's just this one and he, he, she, I don't know, <laughs> Silky Pop, I don't know if it's a girl or boy and doesn't go like on for high prices, so you can find this one for like 6 euro or something on eBay, very easy um, but I always like waited, I don't know, I thought I find one with like a little bit that's a little bit more complete or one that I don't know, I find like out in the wild, I never found one in the wild and most of these not complete because he actually has I think three of these um, pixie tails actually and, and another thing that goes around his, his neck like, like a choker or stuff, stuff, stuff like that um, but then now I was like okay there are so many online, let's just pick one that looks the best and I got this one like then for 5 euro and I was really, I really, really wanted one that had still kind of long um, uh, hair because some of them are like cut and, and stuff like that. And this one looks pretty good. And I also wanted one that has still, still a good pink color. It is still pretty, like also pink from from the vinyl. Some of them look like more they got a little bit brownish. And I wanted one that has this really beautiful pink hair and beautiful pink body. I try to style the hair neat that it looks more like a dog because otherwise it looks like, I don't know, it looks like super strange when all that hair is away. So with this it looks like, I don't know, like a cocker spaniel. At least now I finally have him or her silky pup from Lady Lovely Locks. Actually from the first uh, Lady Lovely Locks series, so 86 released together with the two first like pets so it's silky mane the horse the purple horse and silky pop pop like puppy not pop <laughs> puppy pop pop and uh, and something else from lady lovely locks which was like uh, i don't know how i stumbled upon this it is a puzzle this was a really really old um um like online no, it wasn't auction. It was like, um, like just on eBay Kleinanzeigen. It was in there since 2017, and uh, that that shows that I scroll like down a lot, a lot, a lot. And then I I got 
stumbled upon this and I was like, oh, this is so cute because I really love the artwork from Lady Lovely Locks. And um, yeah, it was like five euros, so. And it was still there, well, although it was like in there since 2017 or something. Just have a look at how beautiful the artwork of Lady Lovely Locks toys was. Also from 86. Um, it also seems to be like it says Lady Lovely Locks, so the English uh, version, while in, in German it was called um, Lady Lockenlicht. From JR Children's, that's the company that produced those puzzles. And uh, yesterday I started this puzzle and it is freaking like difficult, really. I mean, it's 150 pieces. So it's not like the, I don't know, uh, 35 these puzzles from My Little Pony, which I can put together in, I don't know, five minutes or something. This is freaking, freaking difficult because also there's a lot of white space and a lot of like small things when you've got like flowers. It's like, oh my goodness. So I couldn't finish it yesterday. I still have like some of the, I can't show that to you right now, but, but some of the pieces that have like that are together in there so I might try to finish it like today in the evening or something like that because I want to see how it looks okay um I really wanted to have like a good variety of different um, toy lines when I like un unpack them at Christmas and not just ponies I mean I would also have totally okay with just ponies but I was like okay let's let's try to get for myself a little bit of a variety so what about some new keepers and I mean just one but because I'm a little bit like I don't want to get them for I don't want to get like the big keepers right now I don't know where to put them I have no space but then I found this little squirrel which I don't have this purple cute purple and blue Squirrel, which is called Scampers, which is like a kind of strange name. It's from the second series of Keepers, still produced by Tonka, 1987. Let's give it like close to the camera. And you can definitely always recognize the second set of Keepers because they have like glittery eyes and they are in general like more girly. The colors are more soft and they have longer hair and yeah, I mean there is some some wear and tear here, like some 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 scuffs, and but but still in a okay condition for a little bit of a cheaper price. Um, so a new addition to my keepers, my baby keepers. This one actually, I mean, as all the baby keepers came with like two accessories, as far as I know, always a brush and a hair clip. I just have, I can show it to you, just one of those hair clips. I have here the bear, and this is the hair clip that the bear came with. Um, and a hair clip like this was included um, with this one, uh, just as an acorn hair clip. So a really cute acorn hair clip. But when you get keepers, they're not, not very often included with the keepers. So it's kind of like difficult to find those hair clips and the brushes as well. I just think I have two brushes that are from the big keepers. So here we've got Lady Lovely Locks and keepers. Okay, were there more uh, vintage toy um, toy lines that I uh, got myself something for Christmas? Yes, um, because I had a look for more snuggle bums. Here you can see like the daddy snuggle bums, and here's the mom. Mama Brightly. And when I got these two, I was like, oh, they are they are so huge, like, mm, I don't know. Then I got, uh, you you saw that in one of my Vlogmas videos when I um, got like toy hunting again. Um, got this vintage pamphlet from, from um, the Snuggle Bums. And then I was like, okay, I just need to get a little bit more into that because when I was re researching them, some of them are looking like so cute. So I got myself one of the snuggle pets or snuggle bugs. This one is still um, because as you can see they are much smaller 
and those like freaking huge <laughs> adult um, uh, snuggle buns. In German called Knuffelbund. They are always like they they have got a complete toy and was translated to Knuffelbund instead of uh, snuggle buns. And um, this one is it still says play school so from 1985 division of Hasbro because a year later they weren't produced by play school anymore but by MB um, but so and, and why I am saying this is that the release from this one was then also released the next year again from the other company from MB it got a different name <laughs> this one is uh, I need to check that because I always forget it ah yeah when it was produced by play school still like this one it was called Basil and the year it started to get produced by MB then it was called Bumble which would obviously actually make more sense because it looks like a bumblebee. They are these also like vinyl toys um, like with a hole in the bottom so they are like empty um, but they have hair that's more like this um, like like fake fur like with trolls they have like hair that resembles more troll hair um, and these ones these snuggle pets or I think with this first release which was still produced by um, play school they are more called um, snuggle bugs because I mean, it's a bug it's, it's a bumblebee you know and um, they are like much smaller in scale than these huge adults which is more like uh, like they are way better for me because like where do I put all those huge things but I think these two are actually the biggest ones so the children of the of the snuggle bumps are also already smaller and then those bugs and there's also like there are also dinosaurs I mean there's also a huge dinosaur but there are also smaller dinosaurs I try to get more into those like because when I un unbox them at Christmas I was like <gasps> they are so cute I mean of course I saw them at the pictures and I had a look into the box like mm, is that something for me yeah okay <laughs> um, um, before but when I had them in my hands like I mean it has like star and like hearts in their eyes and it's so those colors are so soft and and uh, beautiful and why do I always say they because I got another one I got this one which uh, resembles a butterfly and look at those super soft beautiful colors this one that's why I also explained to you with like a uh, play school and blah 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 and because this one already says Milton Bradley division of Hasbro and 1986 so this is the next year 85 86 and they were already produced by M Milton Bradley is MB it's also where a lot of um, they produce a lot of puzzles MB maybe you this is more recognizable for like a company that made like children's puzzles and also adults whatever and yeah, but they produced those uh, snuggle bumps then afterwards and this one then it goes more into the line of snuggle pets already called it's not not snuggle bugs anymore but kind of the same thing it's a butterfly and the name is flutter like very easy like a lot of things are called flutter especially with ponies like right we have like flutter ponies and we have flutter shy and we have flutter by and we have i don't know a lot of flutter things and this one's also called flutter Again, those like troll hairs, troll hair, kind of, and we have these huge antlers, I don't know, are they called antlers? Probably not. Does this one, this one doesn't have stars in the eyes. This one does. Can you see that? And those super soft colors, like, I, I freaking fell in love with them. It's hard, which all of them have so because the story actually goes with the snuggle bumps and all the others they always have this heart at the actually right side of the body it was meant to be that when children would you know snuggle up with them then you would have them my goodness then you would have them like this when your heart is at the left side and his heart is at the right side then those hearts go together and for example these big ones would then light up does do all the others also have this heart the right side and um, 
but, but these don't do anything. Like the smaller um, children of the Snugglebums, they make the squeaky noise when you uh, rattle them. These actually light up, but the Snuggle Pets and Snuggle Bugs, they like, don't do anything like specific. So, but I mean, what they do is they look like freaking cute. Um, let's get into something actually that is a little bit, <laughs> not a little bit, but it is completely modern, a completely modern toy because this was actually something that I wished for from one of my sisters because when one of my sisters asks me something like, do you have an idea what I can get you? Then of course I can tell her something. And it was actually the day after I uh, shot this video at Smith Super uh, Toys in Düsseldorf that you've seen in like, I don't know, the first or second week of Vlogmas, um, the toy hunt there. You saw that I showed you all those cutie unicorns, those um, ones that are from the same company, like from MGA, as like the Poopsie Slime Surprise or also the LOL or Na 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 Surprise, all of those. And I was like, there are six beautiful, cute unicorns. If you want, you can get me one of those. So she did. That's why I want to show you to you. Like now in between, I got this like freaking adorable uh, cute T that, that's written with a Q dot T dot unicorn. But you know, you pronounce it like cutie. Um, and what is she? She is called Jenner Jitters. I mean, it's six ones. I can. I already unboxed her. Like I don't keep toys in the box, especially not new ones. Um, so there they are. All the six different ones: pink, orange, yellow, green, um, purple, and bluish. So, and I just told her like three of the ones that I like color-wise like the most and I think that the green one was among them and um, when I when I got her and unboxed her like yesterday I mean unboxed would mean I really took her out of the toy box and um, I was like super surprised that she is the only one that glows in the dark the others don't have that glow in the dark feature what's also nice is that she also came with a comb um, which is really nice and glittery and I think it's the first one of those um, she goes more into the poopsie slime surprise line she looks a lot like this with these eyes and stuff like that and they never had brushable hair oh well, well the very first the big ones they had brushable hair but like from the smaller sized ones uh, they are the first ones with brushable hair and she does not have any um, feature with like slime she doesn't vomit slime or poop slime or stuff like that it's just the figurine um, just a movable head no other just so just one point of articulation and that nice styled hair which is now which is super hard like um. this is like I don't know spray it down with hairspray or stuff like that so it's super hard but I mean it stays in place and I won't brush it out or stuff like that I just want to have it to to sit down like amongst my mm, cute newer toys and here is the brush or comb glittery with heart moon and um, star at the top that was the only like modern toy thing I got and okay i think before i get to the ponies because i've got ponies as well i haven't shown you any right now and i will get to the other things that i got which are not toy related just something very small in between i got a very nice um, shower gel so my um, oldest niece um, she this year she made us like handcrafted things it seems like my oldest niece now she is she gets I think in, in, in January beginning of January she turns 25 so she's not a small girl anymore but this year oops, she made us some beauty related uh, products herself like for example this bath salt it's called Waldspaziergang <laughs> Uh, like forest, uh, a walk in the forest, and it 
smells really nice. I think she put in some, it says here, with apple and different like different berries and different flowers and da 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 and, and, and with tea. Just a small look at that. And it really smells good. The only downside to this is I don't have a bathtub. So I just have a shower at my home. So I need to go to my parents, for example, to um, use it there. Also made two different soaps. Which is like, cannot really smell through, through the package. Um, but it's also consisting, this is also again this forest, a walk in the forest by Spaziergang, so it's probably with the same things in there. And here's also green tea and I don't know, citrus something, tumian, I don't know what this is all called. Um, pepper, um, strawberry parts, like just really curious how to use them. These are soaps. I really like that she, she really got herself like a mold. If you can see that through, it's not just a square thing, but it also has some, some patterns on it. If they smell, smell the same, like this, this bath um, salt smells, then it's really good. So, yeah. One other thing that she made herself for us is this um, lip balm. Uh, with cocoa and with sh uh, shea butter. It smells nice. I also used it already. <laughs> so. And the cool thing is, we know what's in there. She made it herself. So it's all like natural ingredients. Why not? And my, actually my youngest niece also this year, like <laughs> right in the beginning of, of um, of December she already told me hey this year I don't have any any pocket money left I can't buy you anything but I will make everyone something um, like handcrafted so like, okay my, she is like this is my other niece she is um, 12 or 13 she's 13 yeah so what she did is everyone got a pencil a glitter pencil I mean you can also use it obviously it's your pencil and but caked in glitter with its favorite color and I mean everyone knows my favorite color is pink so that's what she just did and some I don't know looks just beautiful with glitter inside here she's totally into like Harry Potter so I think she she tried to make them look a little bit like like um, a wands because I made her uh, this year like a Hogwarts uniform, like she's Hufflepuff, so she got a Hufflepuff uniform, a Hufflepuff like tie and um, a chocolate frock that my friend Kirschel made her and she was like so happy with all of that. She wouldn't uh, take take off the, the Hufflepuff coat like the whole evening um, and that's why she, she tried to, to give us something Harry Potter related which we still can use so it's like a wand in our favorite color but it's actually just a pen. I mean quite creative well okay let's get to the ponies where do I start maybe I start chronologically with not what I unpacked first but which like the ponies chronologically came out first um, okay because I got another one for my second set of rainbow ponies so this is confetti from the year Four or year three, I always mix it up. It's year three already, yeah. It's year three rainbow ponies. So the first set of rainbow ponies uh, was released in year two, so in 83. Um, this one was more like 84 to 85 uh, because it has got the other rainbow hair colors. So it's a completely different set, but also with different hair colors. That's why they're also called rainbow ponies. These ones have all those more or less like pastel but also but also neon hair this is confetti confetti <laughs> confetti uh, she's got the same name also in german so there's no difference and the interesting thing is about this that the seller actually
actually wrote, I mean, no one really does these super uh, detailed explanations, but in his, in his ex um, description of the pony, it said, yeah, 1984, uh, Hong Kong. And I was like, hmm. Actually, I don't believe that this is Hong Kong because the symbol doesn't glitter. And I immediately recognized when the, the hair is like rooted with two rows until the front between the eyes and I mean this pony has no glitter so it must be an Italy pony right he said no that's Hong Kong I, like, I don't care I just want confetti in a good condition and it is in really good condition and fair enough when I unbox it it says Italy I mean I don't know why he was so like so insistent of like yes this is Hong Kong it's Hong Kong like does he think that Hong Kong ponies are more worth or or actually it's the other way around there are people who really explicitly want the Italy ponies because they're like Nirvana ponies I mean here in Germany Italy ponies are very um, common to find I have lots of Italy ponies and I personally kind of like the other ones more uh, because I mean the ones that were sold in America and that produced in Hong Kong or China they have these glittery cutie marks these glittery symbols the Italy ones don't have I mean the good thing is like the glitter symbols they rub off way more like easy so you you it's way more common that you get ponies that have just half of the cutie mark left or something which doesn't happen with the Italy ponies and I can also tell mostly by the eyes that it's Italy this one uh, looks a little bit because Italy ponies most of them have airbrushed eyes that's something else than, than the normal um, like painted on eyes it just looks a little bit different and uh, here I can't tell that but I can definitely tell by that they are rooted very deep with two rows and don't have like a forelock that is short because still the forelock here is the same length as the rest of the hair so that that totally showed me that it is an Italy pony and indeed it is the color of the body, I mean it's a pure white pony, is a little bit yellowed, which is like very common with, with uh, every very old white pony, because indeed it's a very old pony, it's from 1984. Nice in one of my favorite pony poses, in the posy pose. So where do I put her? Chronologically, I think the next ponies in line are the princess ponies because I got two new princess ponies because I got princess sparkle and princess primrose now if you've watched my last pony unboxing uh, video then you might know that I uh, started just with the princess ponies um, yeah when I when I told you that I got the first two ones which were uh, princess Tiffany and Princess Starburst um, These ones were the first ones that I got and Seeing them having them in my hands. I was like, okay. I really I, I want to get the whole set They are very special with these um, cutie marks that are not drawn on but They have like directly those metal um, metal, but, but metal looking like cutie marks popped on there these really sculpted ones and um, the cute the, the princess ponies are not the um, not the cheapest ones I mean they're common to find it's not that they are rare or anything because they are like because they are a set that was released like all over the world like not only in the US we also got them over here in uh, Europe we have some variants, especially some German variants, which I don't have. They are more rare and can get really expensive. But these ones are the normal ones and I'm not willing to pay more than, let's say, 15 the highest or something um, if they come without accessories. Because those ponies actually had lots of accessories. They had like a very cute um, comp or like more like a pig, glitter, glittery pig. Um, they came with a wand. A very big magic wand that came with damsel hats and actually they also came with like friends either the bush woolies in America or the dragons in Europe not not everywhere in Europe but and if they just come without any accessories like these two it's like I don't want to pay like 25 euro or something for it um, and 
sure enough, I was lucky with these two. Um, actually, the same day I, I then got those, there was someone on eBay Kleinerzeigen selling uh, one like the same here, Princess Primrose, for 10 euro, which is a good price. And I was like, immediately, hey, can I have her? But she was already sold. So you can see they are uh, definitely thought after. And I was like, oh, well, okay. But then I just noticed, oh, there's an auction for those two ponies. Uh, not only Princess Primrose, but also Princess uh, Sparkle. By the way, Princess Primrose is also in the UK called Princess Ruby, or in uh, German as well, Prinzessin Rubin. Um, Princess Sparkle is also known as Princess Amethyst in the UK, or in German as Prinzessin Opal. I have no idea. I mean, it's all like uh, those those gemstone names. Uh, then in, in, in um, Europe, but still like different ones, like, but I try to memorize them very well. And I won those auctions um, for the starting price, which was 9 euro 99 and I think 12 euro 90. So no one else bid on them. And uh, I think that was also due to the time when the auction ended. Like it was in the middle of a week, like, uh, I don't know, at the early afternoon, stuff, something like that. So what likes, that's not a time when many people like think of eBay auctions and I just have the luxury to A, work at home anyways, and then work on a computer. So it's like double, uh, I, can, I can think of something like that. So I was like, okay, try to get them, got them. And these were actually the last ponies that I bought, which I didn't like buy with the intention of getting them for Christmas. They were just like, oh yes, I want to have the princess ponies. I'm gonna, gonna try to get them. But they arrived. They, they arrived in like one or two days. They were here. So I was like, yeah, dun, 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 dun. of course I can put them under the Christmas tree. Let me show them to you up close. Princess Sparkle has this beautiful like aqua green bluish hair. I would say like maybe also like um, turquoise. Um, of course, all the princess ponies have tinsel, this nice G1 tinsel, which is kind of difficult to style because, of course, it behaves different than the pony hair itself, but, I mean, come on, we can live with it. It's glittery. And um, Princess Sparkle has this um, more like golden um, cutie mark, gold, maybe a little bit like green gold, um, with those gems in there. And she is a unicorn. Very nice that she is in a pose that not many ponies came in. She's in a mimic pose. So this unicorn pose with one leg lifted up. Not so many ponies came in this pose and I actually love it. Um, there's a little spot here, which I was not able to remove. Um, I don't know, I don't care about this at all. It's not even the display side for me because the display side for me is the one with the lifted up um, hoof. So. I'm totally in love with them. And what I have to say about the princess ponies is somehow they feel different. They feel so soft. I mean, they are not so soft ponies. They're so like smooth. It's better, I, I should better say smooth than some of the other pony surfaces. I don't know what it is about them. If it is like a different material or, or what, but here we've got Princess Primrose, um, beautiful blue hair with um, colorful um, pink tinsel and the cutie mark is in the shape of a butterfly silver or more like a darker silver and with these gemstones in there she had pretty scuffed up eyes but i painted them again so i don't think that this anyone will notice and yeah same wonderful soft feel smooth feeling of the body and apart from the eyes that were like she looked kind of blind you know <laughs> um, she's in a very good condition so super happy with these two and now it's just two princess ponies from the original princess pony set that are still missing okay let's keep it going because there are some more ponies um, chronologically I think like these are this was from year three year five of pony uh, releases and the next ones are all from year seven which is actually a year that was 1988 my birth year 
where one of the best pony sets were released, one of the most like beautiful pony sets and that are still like you can easy to come by because they're not super rare. Because you know the later releases of ponies like in the already in the 90s, 92 or stuff like that which were just done in Europe for example, there are also ponies in which are like so gorgeous, so special for example, but these are hard to come by. Ponies that are like in the middle of the pony release um, for example, of year seven, and they're not as hard to come by, not as expensive, but still like one of the best pony releases. So let's start with something very small, which is this little cutie. Um, the last one that was missing for me for the newborn baby ponies or uh, German Zeuglings ponies. So this is baby Yo-Yo. And with this one, I have the like normal uh, release of the uh, newborn baby ponies from year seven uh, complete. I don't want to get them all out, but let's put this flat here. You can see them pretty well because here, that, this one, this one, this one. Happy, I have actually double. That's why there are two of the pink ones in here. But then we have like Shaggy and Squirmy and all the others here and baby yo-yo was still missing also you can find baby yo-yo like all the time in lots uh, for very cheap included like I don't know whatever and I don't know I never got her because the hair always looks pretty messed up um, let me bring her close to the camera she is a Texas as you can see she's got this yo-yo um, as her symbol and I mean that's that's what her name is baby yo-yo very easy to recognize and she is one of the ponies with this infamous um, fading pink hair and on camera it already looks com nearly completely faded but I can tell you like in in real life she still has pink hair it is still pink it's not completely white the camera doesn't make it look very good <laughs> but um, and also the quality of the hair is still okay she came with braids so I didn't know like when I bought her if the hair was good but she was like really really cheap and um, I just thought like maybe I just give it a go I can also repink the hair if I want to right now I just styled it neat because actually they all came with um, with curly hair oh that's why I that's why I always give them this curly hair situation <laughs> and I think it's the cutest, so. Another pony line that is like one of my favorites from year seven, so from 1988, are the Princess Brush and Grow ponies. I have talked about them in my last video, uh, my last pony haul, of course, because I already had one from like in the beginning of the year, so um, I already had Glittering Gem for a while. You already know that. Um, in the last pony unboxing then I got Skylark and Brilliant Bloom, which I think I always called Brilliant Blossom. I don't know, because Blossom, Bloom, you know, floral, floral themed, uh, I, I don't know. And now I also got Star Bloomer. She's the last one and this set is a set consisting of four ponies. Um, which resemble the princess ponies a little bit because they have also like tinsley hair uh, uh, just in, in the mane, not in the tail because the tail has the feature of the Russian grow ponies so do you see that super long tail right now and then it gets shorter and shorter and then you can again get it out because this is something that I was really looking forward to um, or that I was really looking after is that all of them work. They do, I was not completely sure about some of them but about this one I directly asked the seller does she work because she looked pretty um, like super dirty like when I washed her like she was more like before I washed her she was more like a grayish blue. Um, Star Gleamer one with the stars that's how you can remember the name um, yellow and dark pink hair with dark pink tinsel and then her tail
tail has this beautiful um, pink and yellow hair and I think the mane is cut a little bit I mean I styled it in a, in a curly way now so when it's flat then it is still reaching the floor but you can see that with the others it is indeed longer so I think the mane is a little bit cut but I can live with this uh, as long as the tail mechanism still works I love it when I have those ponies like the tail really long when I lay them flat at the um, where we're standing and then they have like the ends are like in this really nice curly um, situation here I, I love them they are so beautiful this one has a heart at her uh, forehead so a heart glitter drum thingy and I'm so happy that I got her actually I got her together with this little cutie so with baby yo-yo from the same seller let's put the other ones away for a price that was like yeah you can't beat that big. yeah let's let's put it like this um and actually the last one from this year so the year seven of pony generation one pony releases um, 1988 to 1989 was this one that I got it's um, daddy apple delight he is the daddy of the apple delight family in this year 1988 to 87 the first three sets of family ponies the loving family ponies were released and always with a male pony a matching female and then one or two um, like siblings so children I think in the US just the girl was released or the other way just the boy was released and in Europe then they came with boy and girl pony I don't have any of those families complete the only thing I can show you is that I have like mommy and daddy bright bouquet so these are from a family and then I just have the baby boy from the sweet celebrations family so the only thing I can show you here is like a patchwork family <laughs> um, but it's, it's also not a set or something that I try to really collect none of them was like oh I, I really was searching for it this one as well I stumbled upon this beautiful pony uh, just on eBay at an auction and I tried to bid on it and I want it so it is white and I'm happy that it's in such a good white condition let me bring him close to the camera um, still like, like not super 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 white but I mean I, I couldn't ask for more for a wider body he also cleaned up super nice he had some some like dirt over here and at his hooves and really nice I also I'm super happy that his beautiful um, yellow mane and tail um, the factory curls came back like completely I just washed them with like nice you know conditioner and stuff and they returned to its former glory I love how, how the mane looks like she is so beautiful she he <laughs> he is so beautiful I, I totally have a soft spot for ponies with like blonde you know with um, yellow hair and he has these apple trees and you know the mommy has apples all over the body actually more like like twice as fancy ponies like where the symbol is not just here at the flank but over the whole body and then those children would have like apple trees and apples both and I don't know if I try to get now mommy and, and children of those or if it's just like a set that I try to complete like on the go not really actively searching for it um, that would be also like I think maybe the best option okay two ponies left um, and I actually left the spot here next to baby yo-yo because I've got another baby pony which is this one it's baby school bag from the um, school baby ponies or in German uh, baby foshul ponies um, and as you might remember 
I like in the last pony haul I was already like I tried to get this whole set because they are Euro exclusive you can still get them for very good prices because you know we're in Europe so that's not uh, something rare and let me show them to you again I mean here they are baby alphabet baby pictures baby count a lot and now baby school bag This set is from year 9, so year uh, 90 to 91. And the only uh, variant I know of this pony is a Dutch variant, which has like the same body color as the hair, so more like a greenish, bluish body. Um, but this is a normal Europe Euro release version. I mean, they were never released in the US, so they are a Euro exclusive set in German. Baby Vorschul ponies, so baby Tashline. Baby Einzel ein, Einmal Eins, Baby Buntstift und Baby Alphabet, Alphabet, the same. So, really happy. Like, when I just had these three, I was like, yeah, they are cute. But their colors are kind of odd together, you know? It's like a dark uh, purple and then a very light blue and then white. And But, like, this is also a very odd color, like a beautiful pink and then this, I don't know, green hair. Um, but if you have them together like this, they look amazing because their colors are actually so odd to put together that it matches like perfectly. They actually came with combs that have this one, two, three, four. I can only show you something similar. I don't have one of those combs, I just have one of those ABC combs, you know. And um, the same way they looked, but they instead of those letters, um, they had actually numbers one, two, three, four. So, baby school bag right here. These go back to here. And now I have like one pony left, which is maybe also one of the most exciting ones, um, which is hip hop. Hip Hop is one of those ponies that I was just talking about, like very late release, um, year 11, let me check, yeah, year 11, so 1992 to 1993, so the last year actually of, of pony releases in Europe and overall in from the Generation 1 pony line. Um, they have like, they are super special, they're so neon, they're so 90s in that way and they have like roller skates and um, never released in the US and pretty hard to come by and pretty expensive. Uh, there are three ponies in the set. The only other one I have is, um, is Jazzy, which was my childhood pony and which was like, I really wanted to have this. Like I paid a little bit more for this one, although she has like a highlighter mark here, which I was until now not able to remove. I tried to sun fade her, but you know, it's dark outside, it's winter. It, it, it she, she was like laying in the light, in the sun for like three weeks or something with Salon 40 cream and wrapped in, 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 um, in those typical see-through wrapping paper, you know. And didn't change anything so I decided no okay let's leave it until the summer and the summer sun comes out again and just have her in my display and I was super lucky and yay and happy and everything and then like really I didn't search for her because I was so lucky to have my childhood pony back I found hip hop one of the other ones so there's another one melody that is um, pink it's a pink body um, which is I think the one that pops up like like least, I don't see it. I don't know if I have ever seen it. Hip hop, I've seen sometimes, but you know, they go more for around the 50 to, I don't know, 30 to 50 euro range. I've just seen go, um, I don't know, one of those two up for 50 euro. It's like, no. I paid like 25 for her. That was like, that's really one of my. Mm, want to go higher actually and then this one was like the seller wanted 12 euro <laughs> I don't know I mean this was just up for I don't know some hours or half a day or something and I just asked her if she's still available 
cute she is. I got her, I think, apart from the problem with the uh, roller skates, which nearly all of the ponies have, like one of the rolls here of the wheels is, is missing. The two front ones are like darkened and kind of not in a good condition anymore. And yeah, one other is missing. I have that with her as well, you know, you see that. Uh, apart from that, her hair is like perfect. Her body is perfect, no marks, nothing. She's got this roller skate actually on her body here. And you know, these colors, they just like, they are fabulous. They are like, oh my goodness. They actually also came with different accessories. They had like a, like a sun cap, kind of, like, kind of like a base cap that you can, oh no, it's what, oh no, it was a, no, I'm, I'm sorry. It's, it's sunglasses that they came with. And then with the Walkman that you could pull around the body and uh, stuff like that, that always gets lost. So I'm happy enough to have these two now. And this one was like a big surprise that I just got her for this cheap of a price. I wouldn't have pulled the trigger if she would have been more expensive. And you know, I wanted to get uh, like more things for Christmas than just like one very expensive pony or stuff like that. So I was trying to get uh, the ponies like kind of in a very like more like cheaper uh, price range. So I would never have expected to get one of those ponies then in there. But it worked out, you know. You just need to be lucky sometimes and then you get also like ponies that are more thought after or rare or expensive for better prices. Um, I know I'm always talking about prices but this is something that really is important to me because you know, she fell down, typical. Um, because I think that it is kind of like silly how expensive some toys get um, and the big problem is not always that the sellers list them for these high prices. The problem is that people buy them for those prices. And that gives like the next one selling the same toy because they can look up what it was sold for before and say, oh, this was sold for 50 euros for the last time. Okay, then I just pop it on for 60 euros. Let's see if people still buying it. And then it goes higher and higher and higher. So I try to never buy ponies for those high prices um, to not like artificially like make the prices go higher and higher because as I said, the problem is not the people that like put them on to those auction sites or those like selling sites for those high prices. I mean, it's the same problem as well, but the real problem is that the people are still buying them for those prices because if never would buy them for those high prices, the prices would drop. Like definitely, I'm pretty sure. Um, it's, that is actually all the stuff I got or I got myself for Christmas. So lots of ponies, lady lovely locks, keepers, snuggle bums, and some other things. So I hope you enjoyed um, this look at those beautiful vintage toys. And if you um, want to see more of those things, then just maybe if you haven't like just subscribe to the channel because I like that's the most content I make right now is like to vintage toy content and I have planned a lot although I can't go out like hunting for toys because everything's closed um yeah so give it a thumbs up if you liked it tell me what you got for Christmas and um, see you in the next video see you soon may the force be with you bye